In Alberta, they're charging $30 a ton for emissions. That works out to about seven cents a liter more for your gas when you fuel up your car. It's an extra $1.50 for each gigajoule of natural gas heating your home. And when you buy things at a store that have to come in on a truck, all told, the whole cost will add about $400 to the average household's budget, whether you're in Alberta or Saskatchewan. Now, some families in Alberta qualify for rebates of up to $540 for a family with kids, $300 a person. Here in Saskatchewan, you'll hear politicians say that a carbon tax would cost us $4 billion over five years. Well, that technically is somewhat misleading, according to some economists who say, well, unless you burn the money on the steps of the legislature, you get to keep it here. You can use it to pay down the debt. You can use it to send rebate checks to, say, farmers or to low-income people. Ultimately, Saskatchewan would decide what to do with it. Instead, though, Saskatchewan is taking the track of taking the federal government to court over a carbon tax, and economists say, well, that may be an interesting fight. It's not one that will cut emissions. Jennifer Cannell, CBC News, Saskatoon.